Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this lecture, uh, I am going to cover uh, what is security group in AWS and also we will see uh, how to troubleshoot security group related issues. Let's go and create EC2 instance and uh, uh, see how to associate security group so it will make us to understand better. Let's go ahead and launch EC2 instance. Let's choose uh, Amazon Linux 2 and T2 Micro to stay in free tier. So step 3, it's all networking. Uh, let's go with the default options. Storage, I don't want to change. Uh, for tags, I want to give a name. I want to call it uh, a security group demo. Now this is where we attach a security group for uh, EC2 instance. In Amazon, every EC2 must have at least uh, one security group. Okay. And maximum we can have up to five security groups. But behind the scenes, security group is associated with the elastic network interface. So ANI is just a, a interface uh, attached with IP address. So for EC2 instance, we can have more than one elastic network interface. So in that perspective, every ENI can have max five security groups. So let's name them. And uh, so this is what important. So we need to uh, choose security group rules. Okay, so what is security group here? It's a firewall which protects, which secures EC2 instances. So for example here, uh, I want to give SSH access to EC2 instance only from my IP. So only the administrators or only the employees who is working on this cloud and cloud infra I want only them to access or I want only them to do SSH into this EC2 instance. And if you see this one, it says SSH is the type, TCP is the protocol and 22 is the port range, source all zeros, four zeros slash zero. It, it tells that anybody from anywhere can try SSH of course they do need username and password right but keeping it open like this to the internet or to anywhere okay it's not good idea and see this warning the warning is same so we are keeping SSH open to internet so this is wrong so what I want to do is I want to choose my IP so this my IP picks my computer IP okay so this means only myself from this computer can do SSH okay so that means this security group rule allows SSH connections onto the instance we are launching that only from my IP address okay so let's go ahead review and launch launch the instance let's view instances and uh, this is our instance okay now let's try ssh into this instance uh, from my uh, terminal perfect so now we got into our EC2 instance see because in security group 22 port is open that's the reason I'm able to connect to this machine and remember source I have given my IP means I can do SSH to my EC2 instance only from my computer. 
So even if I have this PEM file on a different computer which has different IP address, I won't be able to SSH because the IP address is different. I mean to say, if you go and check uh, secu security and see this rule, it accepts SSH connections only from this IP. I mean, again, if I gave my PEM file to you or you have stolen my PEM file for, for example, okay, so even then you won't be able to SSH into my machine because firewall is going to block you. So it accepts SSH connections only from my laptop. It won't accept connections from different IP address. Now, in order to play with uh, uh, security groups, let me make changes to security group rules. Okay, so better let's open this in a separate tab. So edit. So let me give a different IP address, which is not mine. Okay. Uh, let's make it uh, 117. Definitely it is not mine. 117 right so I will remove the other one means it should allow SSH only from this IP address so save rules okay and see we already made a connection so let's exit means let's sign out and try SSH again so this time definitely I should not be able to connect to EC2 instance because security group is blocking me. So security group is blocking me because it my source IP is not matching with security group rule source IP. Okay, so let's go back and change the rule and make it work. So edit inbound rule. My IP, save it now it should work so let's cancel that operation and uh, yes now it works and next thing i want to demonstrate is uh, i want to host a static website on my ec2 instance which listens on 80 let's do that so httpd is Apache which is lightweight web server I installed it then I want to put a sample HTML file on uh, Apache server Okay, and uh, let me start Apache server sudo service uh, httpd start. Right, so Apache listens on 80, but our security group associated with our EC2 instance doesn't have a rule to accept connections on port 80. So means if I take its public IP, put it in the browser, it is default, okay, it won't work. See, the server is running, my website is up and running, but I'm able to, I'm not able to connect. The reason is security group is blocking this access. So what I do is go to inbound rules add a rule this time I want to allow a HTTP HTTP and HTTP it uses TCP protocol and its default port is 80 even my website is listening on 80 so here this time I don't want that to be my IP because I want my website 
to be accessible for everyone in the internet so definitely i don't want to restrict uh, at access only to my ip rather i want to keep it anywhere means anybody from internet or anywhere can access my website on at again ssh access is limited to this ip and at http uh, access is open to everyone let's go ahead save the rule so after saving the rule perfect so my browser is able to access the website which is running on 80 port security group doesn't have uh, options to deny traffic from specific ips means if you want to blacklist any ip so there is no way we can do that with help of uh, security groups means see there is no explicit allowed deny like concept which we have in network access control list okay so here the rules we add is implicit allow so if any traffic doesn't match this rule is implicit deny and we call security groups are stateful means if there is inbound traffic means a traffic which is coming into ac2 okay that's called inbound traffic so it applies only inbound rule okay and it doesn't apply outbound rule means if there is inbound traffic which is coming a traffic initiated outside vpc and that's coming into ec2 and the traffic is verified with inbound rule if it allows traffic gets in and when traffic returns and goes out before it leaves our uh, ec2 instance right the security group will not check outbound rule that's called stateful means if inbound rule allows inbound traffic and it won't care what is outbound rule that traffic flows out this is called a stateful behavior in security group and coming to source section we have three different options one is my ip right so where it auto populates my current system ip means this is allowed only from this ip address then we have anywhere means it allows traffic from any machine from anywhere that's also simple and straight to understand the other one is custom so for example uh, i don't want ssh to be available uh, only for me let's say i want ssh to be um, available for my network my company network right or maybe multiple ip addresses i want to put there in such case we can use custom okay i can put cyber blocks you know right cyber block represents a network so i can put a cyber block means any traffic ssh traffic from that cyber block is allowed in this case if i use a cyber block and i also can use security group as a source means let's say we have a database and i want my database to accept connections only from web servers okay so i could put ip address of a web server in the source for db security group let me explain this way uh, let's say i am setting up my db and for db uh, I want to create a security group choose VPC and uh, let's say our database is uh, uh, MySQL or Oracle let's say it is MySQL which is listening on uh, 3306 okay now uh, I mean my database should accept these connections only from web layer only from our web applications so one way to do that let's say we have a, a five ec2 instances running our web application i can put five ip addresses here but if those web applications are running in an auto scaling group 
so you know right auto scaling launches terminates ec instances dynamically and these ips will keep changing always right so i can't depend on ip addresses in case of my uh, a security group of uh, database correct so that's the reason we have an option like uh, security group as a source means so if we have auto scaling group and our web applications are running in auto scaling group ips will change dynamically but even if ips are changing dynamically still i want to create a security group rule for my uh, database which allows connections only from web servers so what i can do is i can use custom and i can choose a security group of a web server okay means what does it mean any ec2 instance having this as a security group is allowed to uh, connect to my database on double three zero six this kind of scenario uh, pretty much always comes up in uh, your certification exam so that's all guys that's about uh, a security group and i hope you guys enjoyed the session thanks for watching bye